another mission accomplished. Time to head back to Whoop. Yeah! Hey, what's happening? with my besties. Not only are we an amazing spy team, but we make one totally awesome yoga aerobics team, too. Now just relax and breathe. Hello, girls. Jerry? Whoa! I'm truly sorry to interrupt your morning workout. Interrupted. Hmm. <laughs> uh, please. I've got great news. <gasps> We're finally getting that trip to Fiji we've always wanted? <laughs> From this moment on, you will no longer be working as a team, but as solo spies. Congratulations! What? Oh, you mean, you're breaking us up? Uh... Why would you do that? Sure! Especially when we work so totally well together! No, I think you've misunderstood. It means you're ready to spy on your own, just like all my other agents do. This is a huge promotion for you. But what if we don't want to spy on our own? Hmm. Oh, my. Then I fear you're not going to like what I have to say next. Mm. Hmm. You three will no longer be living together in the penthouse. <laughs> huh? What? No way! Please, uh, girls, let me finish. Uh, you'll each be getting your own rooms in West Coast Hall, which will not only make you more independent, but better spies. Plus, you'll still be close by. Not close enough! I can't imagine my life without my girls. Oh. I know this is a lot to take in all at once, but rest assured, I'll be here to support you every step of the way. And trust me, you'll soon see that it's all for the best. <gasps> Some promotion? How could you do this to us? Uh, hmm? uh, Ew, Tarant! Huh? Do you smell that? The stench of intruders in my new penthouse pad! <laughs> Beat it, Mandy. We don't have time for your games. I'm sorry, Clover, but room quarrels will have to wait. <gasps> I whooped you here because of a dire situation that's unfolding. Agents the world over have been reported missing. You mean like our fellow Whoop agents? One, Ronaldo, is from Whoop. The other two are from affiliate spy agencies. Ronaldo? Isn't he that new agent with the dark hair and dreamy blue eyes? Indeed he is. Clover. Ah. Uh. You'll check out a posh flat in London where an elite agent named Kip from the British Intelligence Service has gone missing. You'll need the hair clip monster grip to assist you. <laughs> Alex. You'll investigate a remote warehouse in northern Canada where a Canadian agent named Hillary hasn't been heard from in weeks. Here's the zip line bracelet and eyelash curler catapult. Sam. I need you to look into Ronaldo's disappearance. His whoop chopper went down in the desert outside of Phoenix, Arizona. Please use the rocket fuel mules in your investigation. Sam gets Ronaldo? Lucky. Okay, girls. Enough chit chat. It's now time to embark on your very first mission as solo spies. I know it stinks, guys. But it isn't the end of the world. I mean, our friendship is way too strong to be compromised by this. Or anything. Aww. You're right, Sammy. Totes! Yeah. Room Hugsy! Wow, Kip 
is cute with a capital C. Don't you think we'd make a dreamy couple, girls? Huh? Girls? Oh. Right. I'm on my own. Well, guess the only thing left to do is get spying. Mm hmm? by now. Are you still hungry, boy? Spying alone is way harder than it looks. Almost looks as if the chopper was roped during a rodeo or something. Don't you think it's weird, girls? Girls? Oh. <laughs> Maybe Jer can make sense of it. Huh? Ah! Huh? Uh oh! Rocket fuel mules! Get me out of here! are doing better than I am. With. The only thing that showed me any love today was an overactive propeller blade. We need to have a major catch-up sesh. Hmm. Just not right now, because I've got advanced textiles in 10. And I've got journalism class. How about we meet up for dinner? I wish I could, but I've got a Puppy 101 quiz to cram for. Oh. oh. We'll catch up soon, right? Definitely. Definitely. I could sure use some space, Oinky. What do you say to a little study sesh? Just the two of us. <sighs> hey! You can't keep us in here. We demand to be released immediately. <laughs> Not to worry, spies. You won't be inside for long. My new collection is almost complete! Huh? <laughs> Looks like it's spy time! Clover! Alex! Sammy! Kip! 
Wowza! He's even cuter in person! <laughs> Careful, girls! The sides of the boxes are electrified! <laughs> we've been in some pretty far out places, but we've never found ourselves inside doll boxes! <gasps> huh? <laughs> hey! What's going on? <laughs> Whoever you are, you'll be hearing from my stylist! Yeah! We're not some dolls you can just play with! Now see, that's where you're wrong. Besides, Volterra thinks you all look really pretty. Right, Volterra? <gasps> Wait, you're our supervillain? Hardly! The name's Fangirl, and I am the ultimate fan and collector of everything spy-themed! <laughs> Film, television, comic books, video games, action figures, you name it! Whoa! That's quite the collection! Thanks! And now that you're here, it's totally complete! Yay! Hmm. So what? Now you've decided to collect us? Yep! I've traveled the world, and there's literally nothing left for me to collect! Except living, breathing spies! <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take extra good care of you! Cha! No thanks! And besides, how did you even hear about us? On a totally underground fan website. And FYI, you three have a humongo following! Really? How humongo? Clover! Oh, right. Never mind. I think it's time you let us out of here! Really wish I could. But Volterra and I have talked, and we have other plans. <laughs> uh, what's that for? All collectors have one thing in common. We love to play with our toys! All of you will compete against each other to see which spy is the best! Starting with you three. Winner gets their own gold-plated box and a special place of honor on my collection shelf. You can't be serious. We're people, not toys. Duh. Don't you think I know that? Don't worry. The gold-plated box has plenty of air holes. Hmm. Let the games begin! Side. At least we get to spend some time together. Yeah, only this is so not how I imagined our big reunion moment. Ah, even Oinky wants a hug. All right, all right. Enough hugging, more fighting. Oh, please. Like we'd ever fight each other. Yeah, we're besties. You'd have to literally force us. <sighs> Luckily, that can be arranged. Clover. No probs. I'm just glad you guys made it out in time. 
You two distract Fangirl while I take the power out of her power trip, okay? You got it, Sammy! <laughs> Go. Huh? <laughs> no! This is so unfair! You didn't even go one round! <gasps> I'm so sorry, Volterra. Look, all better now. Don't you get it? Volterra's just a silly plastic doll! And you're just an overeager collector! You can't hurt us! Hmm. <gasps> huh? Oopsie! I managed to get my hands on the original Volterra spy robot, as used in my fave TV show growing up. What's she gonna do, whack us with her magnifying glass? Luckily, I've made some slight modifications. <laughs> One, courtesy of us. Ah! Ha! Uh. Oh, that is so romantic. Kip totally came to my aid. He seems like a great guy. Let's just hope one of them has better luck. Guess it's up to us. Come on, girls! Over here! As if some stupid cable can stop the mighty Volterra! The most indestructible spy bot from a TV show that ever fought crime! Luckily, this isn't an ordinary cable. Hit it, girls! My prized collection! Yeah! Get this filthy creature off of me! Yeah! Hey, he's not filthy. I gave Winky a bath just last week. Uh, no you didn't. It was three weeks ago. Phew, at least. Make that four. I know, because that was the same day I was on bathroom duty. It took me three hours of scrubbing to get the oinky ring out of the bathtub. See? What would I do without my roomies? Oh, if only Jer could see how well we work together. Yeah. Then he'd totally realize that we aren't meant to be solo spies. We're meant to be a team. Forever and always. Ah, group hugsy. <laughs> <laughs> Another job well done, girls. What's gonna happen to Fangirl now? Fangirl's extensive collection will be sold off for charity, and we're closing this underground website. Suffice it to say, she won't be needing them where she's going. Well then, I guess this is good night? Yeah, I should really get back to studying. And I should try to nab Kip's digits before he splits. But let's try to get together for lunch tomorrow. I could really use some quality girl time. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Not so fast, girls. I've got great news. Oh, sorry, Jer, but we've had all the great news we can handle from you for one day. No, I think you've misunderstood. In light of how adeptly you worked together to take down Fangirl, I've reconsidered my position. You three will no longer be acting as solo spies, but as the fantastic team you were always meant to be. Congratulations! What? No way! For real? I do apologize, girls. I was merely following Whoop policy. But even Whoop policy isn't foolproof. Now, group hugs in. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Where are we gonna live? On account of Mandy totally copped our digs! Never fear. You girls will be back in the penthouse just as soon as Whoop has finished renovating. <laughs> I 
promise we'll always stay together? You can count on it. Forever and always. That's right, girls. BFFs to the end. Totally. Yeah! <laughs> I am pleased you're restoring our palace to its original splendor. Trust me, you're in good hands. Now, if you don't mind, I think I'll go in and get a feel for the place. I'm so not in the mood for your tooth. Ouch with a capital O! I'm afraid I have to agree with Mandy's critique. This just isn't a happy fashion moment, Clover. If you want to pass the course, you really need to up the wow factor on the midterm. And when it comes to your midterm, which will be a super fab runway event showcasing everyone's most fashionabulous design, I only give out one A. Competition, as in, we'll just see who achieves fashion greatness and who's a fashion disaster. <laughs> Later, loser. <laughs> That's it. There's no way I'm gonna let Mandy outdesign me. It's game on. Don't worry. All you have to do is come up with a great look for the midterm runway, and you'll totally ace the semester. Yeah, hmm. and put Mandy in her place. <gasps> Hey, check it out! That's weird. You know, since there aren't any windows open in the room. That's because this isn't ordinary fabric, it's whoop fabric. Which means it's time to get our spy on! Hey! Whoa! Uh -huh. <laughs> Hello, ladies. So lovely to see you again. Jerry! This is so not cool! We have fashion design midterms coming up and I need to get an A! Well, I'd be happy to help you, Clover. After all, you may have noticed that I'm quite the fashion bug. Ugh, yeah? Maybe in the 70s. Now stop joking, Jared. This is serious. <clears throat> Very well, then. The sooner you get going on your mission, the sooner you can get back to your schoolwork. So what is our mission, Jer? It turns out that several of the world's most prominent interior designers have vanished without a trace. And it's up to you three to get to the bottom of it. Without a trace, huh? That's not much to go on. That's why I've summoned you girls. After all, you're the best. Oh, this is one time when I wish we were the second best. And now for your gadgets. Today we have, from the Whoop Chameleon line, the amazing chameleon tongue, and some Blend Away background spray. Neat! Glad you approve. We also have the Whoop Fiber Analyzing Lint Brush, the Parasol Brick Wall, the Slice Through Anything Diamond Cowgirl Boot Spurs, and last but not least, the IPPV, or Insanely Powerful Portable Vacuum. Helpful in cleaning up messes both large and small. Thanks, Jerry. You're quite welcome. Now, goodbye, spies, and good luck. <laughs> I mean, who even knew Whoop had non-humans on staff? I think I'm gonna call him Z. We're getting close to the Taj Mahal. According to Ingrid Yardstick's office, one of the designers had disappeared. That's where she was last seen. <laughs> huh. Do you think Zeke ran out of gas? I don't think so, Alex. Looks like this is our stop. Awesome! Oh. Bye, Zeke. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> Bye. 
guess I won't be using any of my outfit in my midterm design after all. Okay, spies, time to spread out and look for clues. I don't know, Sammy. This place is huge. Trying to find a missing designer here will be like trying to find a hair on Jerry's head. Maybe not. I mean, hello? If these don't scream missing designer, I don't know what does. What's so special about a random pair of glasses? They aren't random. They're incredibly stylish designer specs. Whoa, you're right. The glasses Ingrid's wearing in the photo Jer showed us match these exactly. Yes! Come on, girls. Let's do this. Oh, great. Now what? Mm -hmm. Guess we'll just have to bust out our amazing chameleon tongues. <laughs> kinda cool, yet kinda freaky. Bomb. I mean, I'm no design genius, but I kind of thought the Taj Mahal would be a little less tacky and a little more classy. Which means someone must have redesigned it. You mean someone like our missing designer? I'm not sure, but one thing's for certain, she was definitely here. Her initials are on this measuring tape. Hey! What is? <laughs> Okay, now push off against the wall so we can swing back toward the window. glasses and measuring tape. Most peculiar indeed. Oh dear. It seems several more famous interior designers have just gone missing. Uh-oh. We better go find them. This is getting out of hand. I agree. <laughs> but first, I need to use this fancy lid brush to get these nasty carpet fibers off my spy uni. Oh, <laughs> oh my. The fibers are made from the cells of the carnivorous Dionea muscapula plant, commonly known as the Venus flytrap. The only known source is from a flooring warehouse on the eastern seaboard of the United States. Whoa! Way to find a clue, Clover! Uh, my pleasure, but how does knowing where the flytrappy carpet fibers originated from help us? Because if we find the source, we might find our villain, right, Jer? It's definitely a possibility. In fact, it appears that someone just bought a ton of this exact carpeting, and it's currently being delivered to its destination as we speak. Really? Delivered how? By semi-truck. If you hang on, I can have us hovering over the vehicle in mere moments. This is it, girls. Happy landing! Uh, oh no! It's Professor Plunkett! Maybe I should just toss my phone. You have to talk to him, Clover! Remember, your grade depends on it! Hello? Clover! 
just checking in to see how your midterm is coming along. Remember, I expect a mind-blowing extravaganza of prancing fabric on that runway. Oh, uh, hi, yeah! It's uh, going great, Professor Plunkett. Can you hear the sewing machine? I've been working all afternoon. Ah! <laughs> I'm pleased to hear that. After all, when it comes to fashion, no pain, no gain. Yep, I'm definitely feeling the pain. Thanks for the call. See you soon. <sighs> what now? It's a text from Hill. One guess. Ignore her, Clover. We've got bigger issues to deal with. Yeah, like holding on to this trap. <laughs> Did we make it? Are we here? <gasps> no way! We're at the White House! <gasps> I can't believe I'm saying this, but how do we avoid being seen by the super cute security guards at the front door? A quick hit of blend away background spray should do the trick. Awesome! and awesome president -y stuff. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, but it kind of begs the question. Why is the president letting 2,000 yards of tacky, seafoam blue, made with killer plants carpeting, get delivered here? Isn't that like an impeachable offense? <laughs> I sure hope the kitchen staff keeps some peanuts on hand. I've got a real craving tonight. I get the shade historically correct. Don't you worry about that one bit. Your interior decorating services are no longer needed here. <laughs> Whoever ordered that carpeting must be here to receive it. The only question is where. Guys, hold on. Are you hearing what I'm hearing? Uh... <laughs> Sounds like straddling noises to me. Either that or those peanuts aren't agreeing with the president. Let's go! Like it or not, I'm the new interior designer on this project. Now, to give this place the presidential makeover it deserves. Ah! Huh? Oh no! It happened again! No need to thank me. My work is its own reward. Finally, this building has a cutting edge style that will be the envy of the world over. And who exactly are you, besides a lady who apparently doesn't own a mirror? Oh, I'm Maggie Trendset. You haven't heard of me? Uh, uh no. no. I'm formerly the most underappreciated interior designer in the world. But now, my notoriety is going global. So how did you even get in here? And the Taj Mahal, for that matter. That was easy. All I had to do was hide within my oh-so-special carpeting. Oh, it's special, all right. But I'm not sure what you're hoping to achieve by barging into places like this and completely trashing them. I'd grown tired of being rejected for design jobs. So I've decided to force my work on those who rejected me. First, the Taj Mahal and the White House. Now, the world! Let's give Maggie a Major League makeover, spies. Yeah. Let me know how that works out for you. <laughs> Enjoy the scenery. You'll be here for a while. I can't believe we're being beaten up by rugs and beanbag chairs. This has got to be an all-time low. Wish me luck. I've got an entire world to redesign. <laughs> we need to do something. Sooner or later, Maggie is going to get around to our dorm room, and we're going to be the laughingstock of Mally U. <gasps> Wait, I've got it the slice through anything diamond cowgirl boost spurs. Give it a try, and the sooner the better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at 
least this rock was nice enough to break my fall. Hold on, Alex! Phew! Thanks, Clover! <laughs> the designer! <laughs> so much for gratitude! Now let's go lower the boom on Maggie! I guess Maggie isn't just an interior designer anymore. She's graduated to exteriors. <gasps> this is nuts. We better send Jerry an alert right away. Look, it's Maggie. <laughs> Let's get her, spies. <laughs> hey, girls, don't you just love what I've done with the place? The only space you should be allowed to decorate is the inside of a jail cell. Not gonna happen! Clover! We need to turn this thing around and uncover Sammy! Quick! Run the opposite way! Thanks, guys! But look out! Pink is definitely your color! It's time to turn the tables on Maggie. My designs are edgy and dangerous, girls. I tried to warn you. The president has now evacuated the White House. <gasps> Mr. President, I can do wonders for your limo. Let me show you. <laughs> We'll take Maggie to the containment facility where she clearly belongs. And what about the other missing designers like Ingrid Yardstick? You'll be happy to hear that Whoop has found and freed them. Huh? Another job well done, Jerry. Thank you, Mr. President. Happy to be of service. And thank you too, girls. Have a nice day. <laughs> He did indeed. Of course, exciting as it is, this isn't information you'll be allowed to share with your schoolmates. Oh no! With all the spying we've been doing today, I haven't had a chance to work on my assignment! I'm so gonna flunk out of fashion design class! Don't worry, Clover, you'll think of something. Yeah, and I'm sure whatever it is, it will be great. <laughs> Interesting. Yes, very chic. Now that's how you rock a sombrero, sister. Okay, people, make way. 
today for the Catwalk Queen! Just gorgeous, Mandy! If I was the fashion police, I would write you a ticket for being fabulous! All right, Clover, this is it. Now, work it like you mean it. Avant-garde! In all my years, that is truly the most audacious thing I've ever seen! And I love it! A, A, A! Yes! <laughs> but that's so fair! I'm the best! Yeah, the best at losing! <laughs> <laughs> This early in the morning? What have you done with my Alex? I'm not studying, Clover. I'm just checking out my horoscope. <laughs> Welcome back, Alex. I can't believe you're wasting your time on astrology when you should be focused on astronomy. As in that astronomy test? I'm not worried. Things will work out in the end. How do you know? Says so right here in my horoscope. Things will work out in the end. <gasps> hmm? Don't tell me you believe in astrology. That's no reason not to study. Yeah. There are way better reasons not to study, like all the boys in desperate need of scoping. Oh, wow. <gasps> Horoscopes can be totally accurate. Clover, yours says, a handsome stranger's smile will brighten your day. Hmm? Mm -hmm. oh. See? Oh, sorry, that horoscope was way off. Yeah, he smiled, but he wasn't handsome. He was a total hottie. Let's check out yours, Sam. Your mood will be ruined by an irritating presence. Hey, Sam, might want to get your nose out of the books and into a mirror. That outfit is so last week. <laughs> she has a point, Sam. Do you really think horoscopes are real? No, that outfit is a little dated. Oh. Speaking of dates, we have to get to history class. Horoscope is right again. It said a strange event will bring me and my BFFs close together. This must be it. <laughs> ah, hello, ladies. Sounds like a spot of trouble. There is a strange event going on. I know all about it, Jer. My horoscope already told me. Did it tell you there is something very odd happening on the beaches of the world? Oahu, Bora Bora, and Long Beach in South Africa. Your mission is to head to these beaches. Hmm? Ready? Hmm. Yes, I see that. But this is no beach vacation, Clover. You'll need to investigate the bizarre tide patterns of each beach. The alignment of the moon and the sun and the earth may have something to do with it. Hmm? You're into astrology too? What's your sign? Scorpio, Gemini? Focus. Your sign is focus? I was referring to the moon's effect on tides. When the sun and moon are aligned, there can be strong gravitational forces causing powerful spring tides, but not nearly this powerful. Oh. Here are your gadgets. A diamond swim ring, a jewel-encrusted turbocharged flotation device, a pair of groovy gravity boots, weighted boots that can help you defy gravity, a lunar lip booster, a mini rocket booster in the shape of a lipstick, and finally, 3D projector sunglasses that can project global images. <gasps> Travel safe, spies! <laughs> But I'm still super psyched to hit the sea. Well, we're about to, in a big way. 
Brace yourselves! Dudettes, I was stoked for Dawn Patrol, totally amped for this epic sesh, ready to fully mack a double overhead corduroy to the horizon. Now it's all Shirley. Hey, I dig your suits. That makes no sense either. You're gonna translate that surf speak? <laughs> Fortunately, I speak surf. Check it. This surfer dude was about to catch a giant wave when the water got rough and then disappeared. Dude! Dude! dude. Me and my salty sisters are gonna scope the jacked waves. Slater. Yeah, man. Ciao. Hmm. Impressive. Huh? <gasps> so is this? A starfish looking for water? No. The new friend my horoscope said I'd meet. We are gonna be BFFFs. Best fish friends forever. <laughs> a girl hugging a starfish. You don't see that every day. Huh? Mm -hmm. You don't see that every day either. The moon just appeared out of nowhere. Don't worry, I'll protect you. Oops. Alex, please tell us that was your stomach. Ah! <gasps> the tide's coming back in. Chillax, it's all gonna end fine. My horoscope said so. Did it also say <laughs> to run? <laughs> ah! We can't outrun the water, so it's either sink or swim or float. Activate the diamond swim rings. So that's why they say diamonds are a girl's best friend. Yeah! Watch out for the boys! The boys! Oh, those boys. Yeah! Hey, look at all your fellow fishies flying by. Squid, jellyfish, octopi, shark. Shark? Gnarly. Ah! Some saw. Later, bra. If you're ever in Cali, say hi. We should probably go too. Over here! Worst beach trip ever. We barely got any clues, and I barely got a tan. Well, we do have one big clue. The moon appeared out of nowhere. But what does that have to do with the freaky tide patterns? Good question. Let's see if these 3D projector glasses can help with some answers. Mm, I can't see a thing. Oh, that's better. So the moon was definitely way far out of its orbit. And it was too close to Earth considering it was just the first quarter of the lunar phase. Wow. Someone snuck a peek at their astronomy textbook while they were sleeping. Oh, it wasn't me. I just read my horoscope. Does it say anything about a heat wave? Oh, it is suddenly mega hot in here. And out there. Oh. Wow, hot enough for ya. Yeah, they are. I mean, yeah, it is. What can I say? I like boys in their summer fashions. <laughs> uh, but not all the boys. I don't see what everyone's whining about. I don't even feel the heat. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. Hmm. Ladies, as impossible as it sounds, the sun seems to be getting closer to the Earth. It's a global emergency. I'm picking you up at once. Okay, so any idea why the sun and the moon are getting closer to Earth? I'm guessing it might have something to do with a weird beam firing up from the Earth to the sky. Mm -hmm. 
I see no evidence of this on my computer. Where are you getting your intel? From my own two eyes. Look! Wow! Best laser show ever! That laser's not for show. In theory, it's supposed to counter the effects of black holes using super powerful anti-gravity forces. This must be what's affecting the sun and the moon. And the stars! I see no evidence of that. Well, that's because you haven't seen my horoscope. That beam changed star patterns, which changed my horoscope. Mm -hmm. And not for the better. Mm -hmm. The end is near. <gasps> they didn't say the end of what? I mean, maybe it means the end of all this trouble. Or this hot weather. Or just some lame fashion fad like leg warmers. I've tracked the beam to San Francisco straight ahead. Buckle up, spies. <laughs> Spies, you need to jump out now if you're going to make it to San Francisco. We're not leaving you, Jerry! <laughs> What's that whirlpool doing in the middle of the ocean? Besides sucking us in, swim for your lives! some kind of old-school space capsule. But instead of outer space, it's underwater. Whoever parked it here has a terrible sense of direction. Hello, lady! Ah! I just sucked you into my underwater lair. Serves you right for following me. Wasn't that whirlpool ride fun? <laughs> I don't think she's gonna let us out of here. I do think she's out of her mind. Wait, you thought we were following you? We don't even know you. So, you've never heard the name Cosmostratus? Just once, when you said it. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like everyone at the space agency, failing to see the genius in their midst, overlooking me for 15 space missions in a row. Hmm, kept failing the psychological tests, huh? Who told? You did, when you said, who told? <laughs> <laughs> Those tests were totally unfair. I didn't even get to study. Well, space school's out forever, because I have a plan. If they won't take me to outer space, I will bring outer space to Earth. What? I'm scared to ask, but how are you gonna do this? By using a machine I've constructed called the Stratosphere Monger. With it, I am pulling the moon, the sun, and the stars closer and closer to Earth. <laughs> Out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> out of your mind, huh? Before you go, what's your sign? Because maybe today isn't the best day for you to end the world? I don't believe in astrology. Too weird. Safe at 
at last. Uh, looks like the moon and the sun are gonna kiss. Hmm? Hey! Huh? <gasps> Gravity must be compromised because of the Stratus fear monger. Uh, <gasps> oh! Good thing we have groovy gravity boots. Stylish and functional. Ugh. We better call Jerry. Sorry, I can't get to the phone right now. Literally. He's not answering. Okay, where's Cosmo? <laughs> That's one small step for me, one giant mess for mankind! <laughs> Time for some bird watching up close. Ah! Here, birdie, birdie. <gasps> Look! Let's get her. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? You're supposed to be underwater. Yeah, we came up for air. So, what do you think of what I've done to the place? Isn't it a kick? <laughs> Now it's a party! <laughs> but maybe we need to play a game. Tennis, anyone? That shot is way over the line! <laughs> Slowest dive for cover ever! Let's get her! These boots were made for stomping! Forget Cosmo! We need to focus on destroying the beam of light and restoring gravity before everything in the world starts to float off! The ray is coming from the top of the Golden Gate Bridge! But how are we supposed to get up there without becoming a human hot air balloon and floating off? I'll do it! The world needs us! Besides, my horoscope said everything will end well and I believe it! You're not doing this alone! <laughs> Hey, what about me? Don't worry, I'll take care of you. It's worth a shot! Okay, 
okay, Clover? <laughs> I was about to ask you the same thing. We're fine, but where's Cosmo? <gasps> huh? <laughs> Why is it so dark and scary up here? I want to go home. I miss my mommy. Well, at least Cosmo's wish came true. She made it to space. Too bad she'll be coming back to Earth courtesy of Whoop Authorities. <laughs> Big announcement, besties. Hmm? I was way wrong to believe in my horoscope. Oh, so great to hear you say that, Alex. Yeah, me too. So what made you come to your senses? I read my horoscope. My real horoscope. <gasps> Turns out I was reading the wrong sign. I totally thought I was a Taurus, but turns out I was wrong. I'm a Pisces, which makes way more sense because I love sushi. Want to hear my new horoscope? Pass. Uh, no thanks. A cute boy will say hello. Hello. Huh? Alex, you're right. He said hello. <sighs> cool. <laughs> oh, but it said that he was going to say hello to me. <sighs> So, goodbye to horoscopes for good. <laughs> <laughs>